Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO haul from Require Break, and today we have two boxes, both from Shop at Home, both from the same order, though this box came a day before that box, uh, but it's, it's a little bit interesting just because of uh, what items are in what box. So we'll start off with the one that came first, obviously, uh, and this was all from January 1st. And let's see, there should be two sets in here, and then a couple in the other one. that paper all that well. That ain't works. And inside here we have a let's get a building slip that we don't gotta see. But aside from that, uh, inside here is the Harry Potter uh, charms class and the Transfiguration class. And the interesting thing about these was that by the time I placed my order, which was still decently early in the morning, it was like right after I woke up on January 1st, uh, those were both back ordered until the 21st, which I was fine with. I didn't need them that quickly. Uh, they did get here on the 9th, so, or on the, on the 8th, because this one got here on the 9th. Um, so, you know. Yeah, uh, sure, it's cool that they got here early, it's just a little bit weird that they got here earlier than the rest of the stuff, which was not on back order. Uh, but, speaking of the stuff that was not on back order, uh, you might be able to guess, at least partially, um, what's in here. Uh, let's see, what is this? I'll find out if there is a Lego store near you. Hmm. I don't know if there's a Lego store near me, but... Uh, you know, I definitely wasn't there, like, right before I placed this order, you know? Uh, but there's also an ad for Legoland New York opening spring 2021, so I guess it is opening again, so... Uh, we don't need that. But inside here, um, we do have the room of requirement, just because, I don't know, I didn't feel like I necessarily had to get three of the books right now. These are my two favorites, uh, and I'll probably get the other ones eventually. But I figured, you know, I, if I wait, I might be able to save more than $4 on those books. This one, 16 is probably the cheapest that it's going to drop to. So I figured I'll just grab that now, because I did want to, um, you know, since I was already placing this order, I did want to get the uh, Book of Monsters. Um, just because, you know, for free, that, that that's a pretty cool thing to get for free. Uh, and... I think it did. no, I wasn't over 85. I would have been over 85 if I just bought a third, um, a third one of the books. But I was gonna buy this set as soon as I could anyway, and it was still available now. Uh, versus on Amazon, it was like shipping the 18th or something. So it was like I'll probably get this sooner if I just order it from here than if I order it from Amazon. So I'll just order it from here and use that to just get me right over the top to the uh, vintage car promo, which is a pretty. Um, Decent freebie. I believe, let's see if I look on the fancy slip. It should tell me. Nope, it won't tell me. Actually, never mind. Excuse me. I think that this is listed as a fifteen dollar um, promo, and then this one is a twenty. So technically, thirty five dollars of free stuff for spending. Uh, well, actually, the retail on this uh, is one hundred ten, but I did use the twenty dollar voucher that I got on Black Friday uh, for half point price. So. You know, ended up being 90 for all this, which is a pretty good deal, I think, personally, at least. Uh, interested to look at those books. Uh, those would be kind of cool to take a look at. Um, specifically, the uh, Transfiguration one I'm really excited for because of the McGonagall figure is pretty awesome. Uh, but the Charms one will be kind of cool for that flip. And I think that the interiors of both of them look pretty decent. Um, rumor requirement is probably the side here that I'm most in on, but it is... A pretty cool thing, and you get the Patronuses. Uh, the Mandalorian set can't wait for. And the promos are free promos, so they're going to be kind of cool. The car, um, the I, I did uh, like that one when the vote happened. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's mainly the moving down of the surfboards, but the final product doesn't look quite as good, though it does have some decent figures, and I think that overall it's still okay. I might try and figure out how to move that surfboard up by one stud. And the Book of Monsters, uh, 
I was always like, eh, it's, it's okay. I definitely wasn't going to spend $75 on Harry Potter stuff back when it was first available at Barnes & Noble because there was nothing that I wanted to spend retail on. But with a new book coming out uh, and that other promo added on, I thought that it was worth it this time. So, you know, uh, that'll be cool to build up as well. Uh, and it will probably look pretty good along at the other uh, book sets. So, if you guys enjoyed this little haul, if you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.